Hi, uh, this video is about Microsoft Excel case study on the math gradebook. So pretend there is a name uh, Mary Callis um, and she she is taking a class uh, a math class. There are like total 20 students here and uh, there are like four tests, one hour test and the student can get, student can get the maximum of, of 100 and minimum of 40 score and there are four tests for that so there are like uh, f four tests each 100 marks and there is a midterm that student can get ma maximum 200 uh, final exam is a maximum 300 extra credit 100 score uh, this is a total which make the summation of all this mark automatically um, by using the sum function and the grade is using the nested if loop statement so it, this uh, tutorial will cover five things here one is the uh, first is the formatting how to format the tracks second one is the auto populated data the third one is the random function uh, fourth one is the auto sum and the fifth is a nested if loop so the first one here this one is using the the wrapping function and the uh, merge function so let's say if i want to merge all this cell here i can go here i can say okay um, format cells and uh, once you are there you can go align you can say wrap text uh, merge cells and then you can say click ok and that will merge all the cell here and then here you can uh, type whatever you like okay so let me type here for example again um mary uh, the school name so let's say school name is um uh, walters junior high school okay. so that's how you you um merge the cell and then i want to give some color here so let's say um since my theme is blue i will stick to the blue color here you can change the f uh, font size uh, let's say i want to give 18 and um, you can align in the middle here and here as well so that's the how you format so that's covered the formatting auto populated data so here if you look at there's a random function what this function does it it take the random function will generate a number between 0 and 1 then you multiply with the difference of minimum uh, maximum and minimum and then you add the minimum so this number uh, will generate any number between 40 to 100 and then you just copy and paste all that same function you just say okay copy and then paste all the way up to here so in that case let's say i want to do like this and i say uh, paste okay and then um, it will uh, copy all the data here and each one has a random function um, they they will generate any number between 40 to 100 uh, this midterm is between 100 to 200 same concept random function final exam between 150 to 300 extra credit 125 uh, to 100 uh, this is the total so total will uh, make the summation so if I want to do the total you can just type equal sign then you do sum and then you highlight all the cells you want to make the summation close the parenthesis um, parenthesis and uh, hit enter and then um, uh, it will give you the total of the score uh, this is the grade B it is generated by using this if nested if loop so the way if statement work is uh, it will check the condition if it's um, true then it will assign the first and if it falls um, then it will take the second parameter and then you keep doing inside the inside the loop okay so if you just concentrate only on this one so there is a if function there is a if this sentence is true if j5 less than 899 you get b if it falls you get a and same thing go in the second if and third if and fourth if so that's how this nested if loop work and then um, it will look at this um, uh, j5 in this case is the it will look at the the cell number uh, j4 
and uh, it will calculate this grade automatically okay uh, and so on here so j7 uh, j8 j9 and then it will look at this uh, j9 cell okay that's how this uh, grade is assigned so i covered the formatting i covered the okay so auto populate that one is still missing so pretend there is a no name here okay um Okay, uh, I can just copy and paste blank cell, but I think. Okay, so let's say you have the student one, and uh, if you highlight this cell, you see this uh, small square. You can drag down; it will auto populate all the data here. There you go. So now you have student one to student twenty. So I covered the formatting, auto populate data, random function. I already covered auto sum. Um, nested if loop and the sixth one last one is the comment so if if you come here you can see when I hover on this cell it will give you the the range so in this case let's say the way you add the comment is right click here insert the comment and then you can say uh, here uh, total okay and um, that's how you can add the total here and this is the comment and then uh, once you go away uh, this will help you if somebody else is looking at your work so hopefully you like this video uh, and um, you can subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching okay bye